Hey YouTube, ZK Master Tech here. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the service truck tour. This right here is the FAV, or what I like to call the farm assault vehicle. It's a 2019 Ford F-350. It's got a 6.2 liter gas engine in it, and it's got an 11 foot readings toolbox on it that is loaded to the max. Let's check this guy out. All right, let's check out the inside of the truck. All right, inside the truck is just your basic Ford interior. You got a wireless charging foam mount there, another foam mount there, a laptop stand. I got an inverter down there. I've got the truck's inverter, and I've got some tools behind the seat. Let's check that out. Behind the seat, we got some torque wrenches and some Milwaukee bags. Let's get those out. All right, what we got here is the 300 foot-pound half-inch tech angle snap-on and the half-inch drive dial type. Over here, we have the MOATW, which is the mother of all torque wrenches. This thing comes in handy. Um, this one will do up to 600 foot pounds. This is a snap on three quarter tech angle torque wrench. And I use this for torquing wheels and axles and anything that requires, you know, anything more than 300 foot pounds. Um, main reason why I got this is because I need to be able to do torque turn, um, like on a 9RX axle bolt. So I think they torque to 310 plus 70 degrees, but you gotta do like 44 of them. So this thing can definitely save some time when you're doing jobs like that. Here we got the Milwaukee M12 bore scope. Use this thing quite a bit. Um, inspecting down in holes that I need to look down in, like a cylinder or inside of a transmission. This here is the M12 soldering gun. Um, I made, took this case and then I put some Kaizen foam in it and I just made cutouts for all the pieces and you know, repurpose these cases. I have a bunch of these cases and it makes it really nice to, you know, repurpose them. So I just put some foam in there and put that gun in there. Um, I mainly bought this for guitar repair I'm soldering wires onto switches and stuff on guitars, but I keep it in my service truck just in case. All right, on the passenger side of the truck, I keep my Milwaukee tech bag. Um, I bought this tech bag so I can load all of my electronic testing equipment, laptop, EDL, um, basically everything inside of it that I need to take apart a cab of a combine or a tractor. I keep in this bag because I can just throw it over my shoulder, climb up the ladder, go into the combine or tractor or whatever I'm working on, then I've got mostly everything that I need and I don't have to make a bunch of trips up and down the ladder. So let's check this guy out. So in the top compartment, this thing holds quite a bit. You've got a, a zip pouch where you can put anything you want in there. I usually put like flash drives and um, alligator clips and Kind of random stuff in there inside here i've got my edl quarter inch drive set this is the power torque quarter inch drive set they're 40 bucks at o'reilly's you can't beat it it's got a bunch of different bits inside of it but basically everything you need quarter inch and i don't have to worry about losing it and i can just throw it in this bag I actually have three of those. Um, inside here, we got a power probe, test light, um, John Deere test box, some different leads. Um, use this lamp for load testing. It's just a lawnmower headlight, 55 watts. Um, this is a lead that I made to go into the test light. So this lead, each wire has a female and a male terminal and an alligator clip. So it comes in handy. 
Down here you got Snap-on magnetic tray, Milwaukee bit set, some more test leads down here, test leads in here, um, fluke meter, fluke meter. Yes, I run two fluke meters. You never know when you need a backup or you need to run two. In this front compartment, you got some Snap-on Torx T-handled screwdrivers. Got the Snap-on terminal release kit. And got some Deutsch tools down in here. Some electrical tape. Got gear wrench, ratcheting T-handled screwdriver. The uh, ratcheting stubby screwdriver. Um, gear wrench bit set. Got a Deutsch terminal um, release tool. It's a metal one. Sometimes it works better than plastic, sometimes it don't. Um, then got a, a small Torx bit, small screwdriver, and an extra extension for the screwdriver. Got a Leatherman in here. And then in the back of the tech bag is where I keep my laptop and my Surface Pro. The top shelf above my toolbox, I have my most used pliers up here on the rack. Starting with the 16 inch Nipex wrench pliers, I got the 16, the 12, the 10, and the 7 um, Nipex Cobra pliers. Um, in here, I've got all the way to 22 inch, but in here is the 12, the 10, um, the 6 and a half, the clamp pliers. Um, snap on regular pliers, the long needle nose, the long duck bills, the long cutters, the Milwaukee cutters, um, the Nipex cutters. These cut up to six millimeter piano wire. I use these for cutting shipping wire. These are really good uh, wire strippers from Blue Point. Just stick the wire in there and strip it. I really like these. Um, snap on cutters. I really like the, the sharp tips on these. Snap on cutters. Nipex flush cutters. These are for plastic only. See it says for plastic. So don't be an animal. Flush cut your zip ties. Long needle nose, some more needle nose with cutters, some more snap on snips. Um, got a W crimp, a uh, terminal crimper, the best butt, connect butt connector crimpers you can buy with a 90 degree head on them. I prefer these the best. Uh, over here, is a Pittsburgh ratchet with the swiveling head. I don't use it very often, but it's there in case you need it. Um, Pittsburgh extendable quarter, three eighths. Pittsburgh flex head. Um, a couple, got a half inch snap on breaker bar, three eighths breaker bar, big one. And up here, I've got a couple test leads, 15 footers, magnetic. Okay, on the left side of the shelf, we have a set of Allen wrenches. We have automatic locking vice grips. This one, this one, this one, regular vice grips. Needle nose, regular vice grips. These are the Milwaukee hose cutters. These work really good. And then we got the I think those are Pittsburgh, they're hose pliers. Here we've got the snap-on strap wrench. Here we have a custom 70 millimeter socket that I had my dad make for me for, um, it's the 70 millimeter nut for high torque reversers on combines. It's pretty custom. 
this is for ILS tie rods on 8R tractors. We got a 5,000 psi gauge that I magnetized to the truck here. Okay, got my long half inch flex ratchet, medium length locking flex head ratchet, the standard half inch ratchet and the short one. And then underneath all these is a bunch of extensions. Chrome, impact, wobble, um, super duper long, you name it, it's in there. Drawer number one. Of course, I'm a combine tech. You gotta have your air hammer in the first drawer. Snap-on air hammer. Couple snap-on blow guns. All my bits are back there. I'm not gonna show everything in this drawer because there's just a ton in here. Trim sticks are on top, miscellaneous small screwdrivers, uh, deck filter tool, snap on trim stick, Pittsburgh trim sticks, um, several razor blade scrapers, blue point scraper, John Deere scraper, and full punch set, carbide scraper. files, razors, uh, wire brushes, air tools, roll pin punches, lighters, um, snap-on scrapers, and we got some commonly used dowels under here, mirror, some uh, air adapters, for cutting Kaizen foam, burr bit set, custom gear wrench alignment punch that I made out of a broken indexing bar, timing pins, and there's a, there's a big tap handle in there. It's kind of jam packed. This truck is five pounds of shit in a two pound bag. Okay, drawer number two, we have the snap-on screwdriver set and the small screwdriver set. The ratcheting uh, screwdriver, gear wrench ratcheting screwdriver, and the gear wrench pick set, snap-on pick set, gear wrench pick set, these are Harbor Freight O-ring picks um, with the radiator tool. The long ones in here, radiator hoses, I should say. Um, my most commonly used small picks. Um, I keep extra shanks for this one because I use it so much. If I break it in the field, I can just swap it out real quick. And that is the screwdriver and pick drawer. Okay, third drawer we have three eighths ratchets and quarter inch ratchets, three eighths extensions, and small quarter inch ratchets, extensions, and X driver stuff. These are wobble drivers, some pins, um, crank turning tools, some more hex drivers, a knife sharpener, extra cam bus terminator, some radio removal tools, um, splinter tools, um, some more adapters, got the uh, gimbal ratchet, and more socket adapters in here. 
snap on quarter, blue point, three eighths. My most used ratchet right here with the quick, quick release. Another snap on ratchet. And extra long quarter. Quick release quarter. Regular three eighths. Another long three eighths. And the new flex three eighths snap on. I have to fold it to get it to fit in there. Um, we got gear inch X core swivel extensions. This one has a socket head. These have three eighths ends on them, so you can put any socket one on there. And then it's got three different links. Um, and here we just got snap on chrome extensions, impact extensions, wobble extensions. This is a ratchet I had converted to 3 8 It's a quarter inch ratchet body with a 3 8 head anvil that I made for oil pan bolts and regular quarter. And this quarter extensions. Some bendy ones. You've all seen this in my 13.5 uh, video that I set valves with, with this guy. Here we got the 3 8 and quarter socket drawer and there's crow's feet in here as well. And this is the quarter snap-on metric standard metric standard impact 12 point crowns um, metric deep crow's feet uh, 12 point metrics tap sockets 12 point crow's feet and line crow's feet, another crow's feet set, and two John Deere um, 12 point crow's feet set metric and standard, and uh, extra long four and five for steering valves or EH valves, um, sensor socket. This is a tool for a rear brake caliper on a car or small truck or SUV or van. That's pretty much it in the 3A shore. Okay, this is my three quarter drawer. I have an impact tool set. Extra long 18 and 24. Another set. Um, extra long. 18 millimeter, 17 inches um, for the chopper drive belts on SRS combines. Um, 30 millimeter torque adapter, Sun X crow's feet, inch to two and a quarter, snap on three quarter head, the breaker bar to go with it, uh, three quarter to one inch. I got all the adapters between three quarter to one inch and half in here. Uh, this is an extra deep 30 that I made. Extensions, um, metric and standard impact um, sockets. These are standard up to two and a quarter, I think. And this is a gear inch, inch and seven sixteenths. And that's pretty much all the three quarter sockets I need to work on large combines and tractors. I have all the sizes I need. Okay, in the bottom drawer I have my extra pliers and the pliers that I'm not getting out all the time. Um, extra long snap-on needle nose, vice grips, gear inch, double jointed, straight and 45s, um, snap-on, snap ring pliers, um, gear inch, those clamp pliers, um, line release tools, some small um, needle nose pliers in here. Um, this is an EGR tool for 13.5. Um, Milwaukee 
channel locks, Milwaukee channel locks, um, Milwaukee big cutters. And this is a special tool I made to straighten chaffer pins. Chain vice grip, terminal crimp, wire strippers, wire stripper and crimpers. These are the straights. Two hose pinch off pliers, hose clamp pliers, and then the transmission snap ring pliers, all the way to the big ones, a filter wrench, and a large blue point snap ring plier. I got the 45 teeth for it too. And a filter wrench. Okay, here on the top shelf we have my socket rails. You guys have seen those in my other videos. These are my most commonly used sockets I put on these magnetic rails. Here we got the gear inch bolt biters. I put a magnetic strip on the bottom of them so they stick. Another set. Back here we have half inch snap on metric, deep, standard, deep. Um, an extra socket back here. These are also got magnets on the bottom of them, keeping them from sliding around. Two snap on magnetic lights, snap on neck light, a Milwaukee light, um, metric tape measure. So that's the top shelf. Here on the second shelf, back in the back, we have a Tecton socket set. 12 point impact. Nice contrast on the sockets. Nice case. I believe it's 10 through 32. 11 through 32. Yeah, it's a really good set. Tecton tools are awesome. And this is um, an axle nut socket set for cars. So it goes from like 30 to 38, I think. What's this? Big Mamba. Yeah, 38. Half inch drive. Um, standard metric shallows. Um, got a three quarter line socket, square socket, spark plug sockets, triple spline, um, stubby metric Allen wrenches, um, long Allens, big deer Allen standard metric, um, snap on Allens. Metric, standard, um, stamp on torques. Um, I think these are metric Allens. These are Deer torques, Deer Allen metric. Got some um, commonly used um, Allens on combines on set screws. So I just keep them right here up front where I can get to them. Um, some extractor sockets, e torques, more Allens. Um, these are triple square, small to big. I'm not sure what this size is. Nine sixteenths. Small triple square, small Allens. Or inverted torques, I should say. Small inverted torques. Um, three quarter snap on. Nine sixteenths half. This is a snap-on sensor socket. Swivel. 
is for you uh, eco tech guys out there. 32 millimeter um, filter socket. I don't have to use that thing anymore. Swivels, metric, fill point. Um, this goes for my serpentine tool. Belt remover set. So that's the uh, second shelf. Oh, I think I missed some Allens over here. Okay, and here we have a deer back probe kit. Matco vacuum. Milwaukee Cobalt drill bit set. The titanium set. Snap on screw extractors. These things are a lifesaver. That's the only screw extractors I use for these. I've got in this special little box. Air fitting. Going out in the country and um, one hook up to a guy's shop here and I don't have the right fitting. Most likely I have it in here. These are tap and drill indexes, metric and standard. Uh, more drill bits. Feeler gauges here, yeah. And grinder, this old Buffalo toolbox. It's from the 70s. Power probe. Snap-on feeler gauge set new haven't used it yet it's got the handles where you snap in the feeler gauges into let me try that out dial indicator stare at micrometers My dad got me this set. My dad's a machinist. He's a really good micrometers. Use those for when I'm checking shims and I'm rebuilding transmissions. Snap on cooling tester. That is a Terminal release tool set. Got a bunch of Deutsch tools and stuff in there. The Gear Inch Master sensor socket set. Love this thing. Got all the sizes you need for the most part for uh, stuff like O2 sensors, NOx sensors, you know, sensors that are like 7 8 or 22 millimeter around that range. Um, it's got a bigger one in here. Yeah, 29 mil. 27. I think it's under 50 bucks for that set. You can't beat it. It's a nice case. All right, this is the oh shit box here. Snap on, three threader. So I really like these whenever you're just trying to repair th re th threads, not cut threads. It's got thread files in it. All the sizes you need, standard, metric, all the different thread pitches. These work really good. I use these all the time. What do we have here? 
tubes of the power probe open and short detector. This thing's really handy on really large harnesses. Like we work on combine harnesses, they could be 30 feet long. And if you've got a short in the wire or a open, you can put a signal into the wire and you can detect it wirelessly with this guy. And then he'll even tell you the direction the open or the, the short is. And you just run this along the harness until um, the beeping indicator tells you where the problem is in the wiring harness without even having to cut the limb open. So that thing's saved my butt a few times on planter harnesses, combine harnesses, stuff like that. It does work. That is, I think this is just a cheapy, yeah, caliper. I don't use calipers that much. This is the gear wrench serpentine belt tool set. Really like this set, it works really good. And that is a Mighty Vac vacuum pump. Okay, this is my standard wrench drawer. We have um, 5 16 through 15 16 and some of these are duplicates. Um, I'll carry like, you know, the gear wrench and then the regular wrench um, because a lot of the times you're wanting to jam on two nuts together on a combine and you need to grab two 5 8 wrenches. One's a gear, one's a standard combination wrench. Um, little pipe wrench, um, John Deere starter wrenches, a battery terminal wrench. Um, this is a special gear wrench in order to uh, do the service valves on R12 systems, like on an old 4430 tractor. Over here we have snap-on four-way angle wrenches. 5 8 through 15 16 um, Use these a lot, especially on uh, hydraulic lines and fuel lines. And then we got uh, line wrenches. Um, I got the standard and metric all in this one rack. We have crescent wrenches, big to small, um, double offset ox wrenches. Here we have a John Deere ratchet wrenches, 3 8 through 3 quarter. We've got a, a double open 15 16 one inch wrench, a 15 16 gear wrench, and then we have one inch through inch and 7 16 here. A um, couple of these are John Deere wrenches. I really like the, the John Deere wrenches. They're really nice. Um, most of these wrenches are organized with either an Ernst um, wrench rack. These are the toolbox widget wrench organizers and I only really like to use these on the bigger wrenches because if you use them for all your wrenches and the smaller wrenches they're spaced apart too far and I need a lot of room in my drawer so I don't have really have much room to, to spare so I use the, the Ernst wrench, wrench racks for the smaller wrenches and the toolbox widget for the bigger wrenches. Okay, here's the metric drawer. And obviously I use more metric wrenches than I do standard, uh, working on deer stuff. Um, here we got mostly all snap-on wrenches. Um, I'll have multiple of each one. So I have three 10 millimeters. Um, I have four 13 millimeters, and two 15s, two 16s, 17, 18, 18 ratchet wrench, 19, and then it goes all the way to 24. Um, I have the gear wrench uh, ratcheting moon wrench, 17 and 15, that I use for 13 five water pumps. Um, 1311 moon wrench I use on 6.8 EGR coolers. And then 
over here, we got some Pittsburgh Pro stubby ratching wrenches. These come in handy in tight spots. Don't use them a whole lot, so that's why I didn't get snap on. Um, these are some extra wrenches, like six to 14. I've got a few stubby snap on a 16 and an 18. These are um, double offset box wrenches. These here are blue point ratcheting wrenches, 18, 15, and 13. These are pretty robust, heavy duty. Got a nice handle on them. I really like these. And then here I've got a little bit of snap on extra gear wrenches, the sizes I don't normally use. And then John Deere ratcheting wrenches, 10 through 18. Over here, we've got Williams ratcheting 15 16 wrenches that I use to tighten the unload chains tensioners on combines. And then we have the gear wrench double box 120 XP flex wrenches. I use these all the time and I have several different brands. I have Snap On, Gear Wrench, Matco. So I've got two 13s. Like I said, I use, I got multiples of some wrenches that I use a lot. 15, this is a snap on 18. Here's a Matco, Flex 18. Got some snap on S wrenches to get to those, some uh, pump bolts that are hard to get to. 21, 24, solid 24. Flex 24, um, this 17, 19 snap on I use for set valves. And then we go from 27, 30, 30, 30, 32, and then a 36 back here. 36 millimeter John Deere back here. Okay, under the wrench door, I have all kinds of stuff. This is John Deere set of metric wrenches from seven to 32 in here. These are really nice wrenches. I highly recommend them. Here I have my gear wrench, 3 8 electronic torque wrench with angle. really nice torque wrench 120 XP 120 tooth head it's all metal construction we have the snap-on PWZ 3G Nipex 16 inch cover pliers. Knipex 22 inch cover pliers. And here we have a set of Sunex angle wrenches. Standard. 9 sixteenths inch and a quarter. A little further in here, we have a set of Tecton four-way angle wrenches. They're really nice. Made in the USA. Um, I got 24 through 50 millimeter here we have the god wrench 
custom CNC with my name on it. This is made out of Rockwell 34 steel. Um, this is three and a half inches. I use this for um, nine liter fan drives. Further in here, we have standard jumbo wrenches from inch and a half all the way to two inches. And over on the side here, tucked away, we've got a seal puller and deep bags of zip ties back there. And I've got a set of long trim sticks and rivet gun and a hundred foot tape measure. Over on this little cubby hole, I keep a wire brush handy. Um, battery strap, large pipe wrench, and some memory cloth handy. And there's also a double box Branch 30 and 36 right there. Let's do the back compartment. Got another one of these snap-on magnetic trays. I'm going to keep a straight edge right here. Um, some John Deere wet wipes. That is a gear wrench tap and die set, which has really nice tap handles in them like this. Ratcheting. It's a really good set. You can get it on Amazon for like 180 bucks. Uh, I haven't had any trouble with it. Um, we got the Milwaukee Packouts here where I keep electrical, metric bolts, standard bolts, carriage bolts, miscellaneous hardware, metric nuts, shop supplies. Also, I keep a bunch of shop supplies in this smaller packout. And we have some radiator um, cleaning wands. A nice little angle tip on it. This thing works awesome. This one in here is uh, for water for the radiator. Then I got an extra blow, long blow gun here. I keep my clean rags up here, my dirty rags back here. Got an extra long blow gun to keep in there. Uh, first aid kits, uh, some disinfectant cleaner and some peroxide on the right side of all my Milwaukee stuff and my pry bars and hammers so here on the top shelf we have the Milwaukee high torque with a 9 amp hour battery uh, an extra M12-6 M12-2 um, M18 mid torque M18-3.8 Another extra six amp hour battery, so that's the way I roll. Um, a three amp hour battery. Got the M12 Stubby. Got the M12 Ratchet. Got the M18 Drill. The M12 Drill. The handle for the M18 Drill. Um, M12 Impact Driver. Um, this is the USB power pack for uh, charging stuff or for the jacket. Another M12 battery. This is the M12 right angled impact, M12 extendable uh, reach ratchet. It's the longer one. The extra 9 amp hour M18 a flashlight, two more M12 batteries, um, and then I keep my die grinders right here and all their bits. I got the straight one and the 90 degree. Um, some more extra bits back there for the die grinders, the M12 Bluetooth radio, and the M12 Rover light. And here I got my pry bars. I got the very big Matco bar. Then in here in the foam, this is Kaizen foam, um, the snap-on big long bar this one this one this one this one and this one and then in here we have um, some Harbor Freight alignment punches Jimmy bars and they're three deep inside this foam there's three of them in there and then back here we have all the 
gear wrench indexing bar. So this is the biggest one back here. Another big one, small one, small one, small one. All the different sizes. Back here, there's a big punch, big bearing driver, um, all my alignment punches right here. Here we got some brass punches, small to big, got a stubby hammer. Back here, we have the Wilton Bash, 36 inch, 10 pound sledge. Um, got a four pound sledge, another 16 inch handle, 10 pound sledge, snap on dead blows, and then ball peen hammer, brass hammer, and then the 40 ounce uh, snap on hammer. Next compartment. Um, these are snap on AC gauges. We've got some masking tape for painting stuff. Um, these are all O-ring kits here. Got hydraulic electronic uh, pressure gauge. Got a infrared thermometer and some extra AC supplies, some more O-rings, vacuum pump. Down here we got the M18 Milwaukee fan. Behind it there's a John Deere battery charger jump starter. This is the M12 radio charger and we have an AC scale. This compartment have a little bit of everything in here. I've um, got a whole rack of chains. Up on the top shelf I have a bunch of different ratchet straps. i um, got a kit for flat face fittings, caps, male and female. This is a bunch of different straps, lifting straps, special tools that I've made, oscillation stop. Um, got clevises in here. Um, got a three drop puller. Got a bunch of different caps and plugs there. C clamps and ball joint press in here. Torch, got a chain hoist and a cable hoist in there. Um, down here, got map gas. Um, this container is completely full of connector pigtails, bags of clamp, extra P clamps, bags of extra clamps down there, fish tape, fire extinguisher. This box is completely full of wiring loom, extra loom. Okay, in the small compartment in the back, just got a bunch of all my chemical stuff, um, extra grease, funnels, NICs, silicone, Loctites, all that good stuff. All right, in the bed of the truck, got a Milwaukee toolbox here. We got some welding gloves and got my grinder and grease gun and all the crap that goes with the grinder, all the different brushes and cutting wheels and grinding discs and all that jazz. Here we got some jumper hoses. There's a test hose back here. Flexzilla, electrical cord reel, gas can, brush for cleaning off the tailgate. And things get out of hand and dirty. Um, got the big John Deere compressorator, electric start four foot ladder. Let's jump in the bed here. Back here, we got some R34 tank. Got a couple uh, five gallon buckets of oil. Got a bucket there with a bunch of different grain hoses and test hoses and whatnots. Um, got a tower of rigid uh, pack outs. Um, extra parts, special tools, extra drill bits and taps and extractors and whatnots and, and there's a large toolbox down there full of electrical supplies, uh, terminal kits, wiring, RWAs, um, terminal tools, all kinds of stuff in there. Um, extra parts in there, fuel, uh, extra fuel, a um, little bit of high guard there and one gallon jug, got a gear inch creeper, 
got a Warner multi-purpose ladder and extends to 14 feet or you can turn into two-step ladders. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with that guy. Um, in here, got wooden blocks, 20 ton air over hydraulic jack. We got the torches over here and then we got a whole toolbox full of um, torch hoses, torch ends, uh, blankets, um, extra bolts. There is all kinds of randomness in that guy. We're not gonna go through everything. If you're watching this video clear to the end, um, why don't you do me a favor and uh, smash that subscribe button, maybe hit the like button, comment down below. Um, let me know how you like the tool collection. If there's anything else that you'd like to see in more detail, let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.